What's up guys, hope you're doing well, the main man Swee here, trapped in this little square here, ah, oh, let me out! So, first off, JDCR here in the background versus Speed Kicks in the Grand Finals, final round 20. If you haven't checked out the tournament, do so on YouTube, fantastic games and a great showcase for Tekken 7 FR. And so as the video title suggests, we've received, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation Japan has actually re revealed some small details regarding the Tekken 7 upcoming DLC. So the game hasn't been released yet, but we actually have some information now on what we can expect from Namco after the release. And it's just great stuff. It shows that they are really dedicated to the game. I mean, already we have amazing visuals, super ambitious story mode, uh, Rage Arts and Rage Drives. I mean, they do want to make the ultimate Tekken game, and now they're, they're showing that they're going to support the game after release. They failed to do so with Tekken 6, with TTT2, but finally we get what should have been there from, from the beginning, like ten, not 10 years ago, but maybe 5 years ago. So great news. So the small details we have are these. Uh, DLC Pack 1, planned for summer of 2017. New game mode added. We don't know what game mode it's going to be. I'm hoping for Tekken Ball here. Please God. But we just don't know so far. And over 50 new costumes. Great move by Namco. We all love to customize. The more cost costumes, the better. I hope they release more DLC packs with customizations. DLC Pack 2, planned for winter of 2017. New guest character. So Akuma is not going to be the only guest character in Tekken in the future. So yeah, I can't wait to see who that's going to be. Maybe another Street Fighter character. And a new stage for that very uh, new guest character. And then DLC Pack 3 for early 2018. Well, but we know when Namco says early, they mean summer, but we'll see. So early 2018, DLC Pack 3 with another new guest character and a new stage for that very character. So this is uh, awesome news, like uh, great move by Namco, obviously they want to make the ultimate Tekken game with Tekken 7 and they are proving it uh, again and again and now as we see that they're going to support the game far after its release, it's just great news, it's, the game won't feel old quickly, it will actually one year after its release still feel kind of viable and fresh due to new elements being added to the game. So this is amazing, and then I also hope that they do as Cam Capcom has done multiple times. Um, almost with each new um, entry in the Street Fighter franchise, they remix some of the old Street Fighter 2 songs. And of course they, they should do that, because the Street Fighter 2 soundtrack has got some amazing compositions and tunes. Why doesn't Namco do this? I mean, Tekken 2 has songs that could rival but I mean Street Fighter 2 has an amazing soundtrack but so does Tekken 2 and Tekken 3 and Tekken 4. Remix some of those songs Namco and release them as a DLC pack so we can uh, switch the Tekken 7 original soundtrack for Tekken 2 remixes. I mean why not? It would be so awesome. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are as excited as I am for Tekken 7 and its DLC. Uh, big thumbs up to Namco. Take care everyone.